right, from the Jets who need to basically put up or shut up to an NFC team that needs a win. We're talking about Michael Vick and the Eagles. It's a must-win game against the Cowboys, and this is what Vick had to say about his game plan. He says, I have to make plays that I know I can make and kind of put the team on my back a little bit. But we have a lot of great players, and I've just got to play at a high level. I've got to bring everyone else with me. So the question is, and I'll give it to you, Lomas, mm -hmm. who survives the game? Is it the Cowboys or is it the Eagles? The Cowboys are going to survive this game. And I, I look at it this way. I think that the Cowboys' problems are fixable. And I say with the offensive line. Philadelphia doesn't have, he has a sift in front of him, a sift, you know what you pull flour in, you, you yeah, sift the, yeah. that's what he has in front of him. The, the guy can't do any play action fakes because guys are in this pressure. He could barely get back in this third <coughs> step and he has guys you know, in this face. The old Vic used to beat that when, he, when, the, he, when, when the, the sift would, would open up, the I, turn I could, style, I could see he'd, it, he'd be gone. I could yeah. see it with one. Linemen being gone, maybe they left tackle, but skip. They got the left tackle, the right tackle, the center. They got, they just got too many holes in that offensive line. But the other thing, I think the most important thing for me is the philosophy with the owners. Hmm. Here you got Jerry Jones. Bad as they've been playing and uh, ups and downs they've been going through, what does this man come out and do? He comes out and supports his head coach. Yep. He comes out and backs up his quarterback. You know, he, he's, he's, in, in that behind them. He's backing them up. Then you turn around and look at the Jeffrey Lurie. Now, maybe it's frustration because this has been going on for two years. Yeah. He spent all this money. Yeah. But here you have a guy that tells your head coach, hey, Nate won't get it done. We got to get in the playoffs. You know, putting more, and I, I just think more of the pressure right now, the pressure is just squarely on Philadelphia. I think Dallas can go out there and they can play. They can play easy because they know they got their owner behind them. Their owner is backing them up. Whether they get in the playoffs or not this year, Jerry sounds like he's going to stick with Jason Garrett. Sounds that way. I know things could change, may I, may but he I sounds interject? that way. You go always ahead, do. A. Go <laughs> ahead. Don't let him finish. Go ahead. L just jump in. Lomas, Lomas Brown. <laughs> yes, talk to were, me. Were you... Were, were you a fan of Jimmy Johnson when he was a coach? Uh, the, yeah, with the Dallas Cowboys, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you remember that Jimmy Johnson said, I am, you know, he said, I can guarantee you I'm consistent in the fact that, you know, I will treat everyone differently. Mm -hmm. Those who can play will be treated like here, and those who can't won't be. They'll be treated down here. And he talked about that. You know what that means, Lomas? What's that? That means Stephen, accountability. <laughs> And, and, and that means accountability, that means culpability. Right. Now, you are somebody mm -hmm. that has always said to me that you got to light a fire under people. How is what you said about the Dallas Cowboys lighting a fire on anybody? If anything, it, it, it exudes comfort. It but, promotes comfort. Wait, Stephen A. It, it, but, it, it strips you of the urgency but, that you need to have to make sure you get you stay on your game but it so don't you just, can perform it don't have at a to high be level. In a negative way. It doesn't have to be. You don't have to be encouraged in just a negative way. It could be a positive way. If I know my owner has my back, guess what? I'm going out there and I'm going to play hard because I know this man has my back. You mean you like know? Kansas you mean like Kansas City did with Romeo Cornell? Well, they politics for him to get the I job. They swore that. that they wanted him, and then they go and they stick up the joint after he gets hey. a contract. You understand? And gets his money guaranteed. You mean that way? Is that what you're talking about? Because hey. that's what I see. I don't know how you see, those you talk guys about the Jets. Are made up hold on, 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 hold where Rex Ryan comes up there and guarantees Super Bowl and talks about how great his team is, no matter what, and how, you know, you, you get the impression that he can live in perpetuity, that he's going to have the support but, of the franchise. But what you want them to say? What do you want them to it? say? You want them to say, we're not good, we're not a good team, we're not going to be good, guys? What do you want them to say? He has, Stephen A., it's a long season. Is Sometimes that a rhetorical question to, or you want me to answer look, it? Go ahead. But is I'm that just a rhetorical saying, question? Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm you can't you ask questions. Go ahead. You can't go ask ahead. questions and then don't let me answer. It. Bill Parcell says you're only as good as your record. You are what your record says mm -hmm. you are. So the point that I'm trying to make is that if you're three and five, what's wrong? I'm not asking you to go out there and say they stink, but at the same time, there's nothing wrong with saying, look, we three and five. I'm not about to sit up here and, 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 and spew confidence. We're three and five. Uh, Stephen A. What, it ain't a pom -pom. These ain't cheerleaders. Stephen They're playing. A. What, you want to put on a pom-pom? Stephen A, back in 1995. Like let me tell you this. Back in 1995, we started off three and five.
put seven games together, won seven games in a row, got in the playoffs. That's the year I made my guarantee in Philadelphia and got spanked 50 some odd to 30 something. But it can be done. I've done it before. And believe me, it wasn't all negative coming up from the coaches Love when it. we were three and five. I got one more thing to say, because I love you. But you set yourself <laughs> yeah. up for this, and I can't uh -oh. let it slide. Who did, what franchise did you play for for the primary what does that portion mean? of your career? What, what, wait, what does and that I, mean? The Detroit question. Lions, what answer, does that mean? Hold it, hold it. You don't like to answer, you don't like to answer my question. You got to answer the Detroit question. Detroit Lions. The Detroit Lions. I'm sorry. When did the Lions win a Super Bowl? We, we haven't won one. But what does that have to do with, it's 32 teams in the NFL, right? I'm saying, that, it's, it's nothing wrong with holding teams. people accountable. I'm saying the way you sound, listen, no. let me feel comfortable. No. That money you get paid, I'll be damned. Nah, you better that, win something. Stephen A., you better you know win it's something. I'm gonna gotta replace somebody. You know somebody. it's not all about the money. You know it's not all about the money with professional of course not. athletes. You're right about it's that. You're right about that. Everything else. All right, what do you Christian, think? But you gotta get it done. <laughs> you gotta get it here. done. <laughs> well, the, uh, I mean, going back to the original question. Going back yeah. to, to Vic. First of all, the yeah. Vic, the Vic that we all that you talk about, Skip. Uh, that they used to be able to escape that yeah. blitz and. He doesn't exist. Okay. Okay. He's not, and he's not coming back. So everyone needs to get used to the fact that the more Vic presses, the worse he gets. That offensive line has completely disintegrated. Yeah. It doesn't help him whatsoever. The only way for the Eagles to help Michael Vic, uh, Vic, is to two tight end sets, two backs, play action pass, run it, protect him, let him go outside. That's it. As far as the Cowboys go. I think they got a slim chance because they're the only team other than the Eagles that, I mean, the Eagles are the only team other than the Cowboys that I trust less, okay? Because the Cowboys, regardless, they, I hate to give them credit, find a way to screw it up. So with that, but they still have a chance. When you think about their, their, their remaining games, five of the remaining seven games are at home. So who and, survives? Is it the Eagles I, or the Cowboys? You no, know, it's the Cowboys. The Cowboys survive this game, you know, have a chance, a possible chance to somehow make the playoffs, especially... You know, we'll see what happens with the Giants. Yeah. So I think Lomas before the show is leaning Eagles, and I think my opening salvo to start the show convinced Lomas that it's Dallas going to win this yeah, game. Yeah, it did. And Stephen A., y y here you go down with another ship. H here's your guy, Michael Vick, week after week after week, and now I'm going to start spelling it W-E-A-K, because all he does is talk. The Eagles talk the biggest, baddest game in the NFL, and they can't back it up. And I realize Dallas finds little ways to lose games, but, but the Eagles are the, the biggest accident waiting to happen in sports because they find ways to collapse in games. Should have been down 28 to three at New Orleans. And right now, this is a simple one for me. Dallas is just playing a little better. Not a lot better, but they're a little better team playing a little better. Tony Romo in his career in the month of November is 19 and three. On the road this year, he has eight touchdown passes to only three interceptions. So Dallas is a pretty good home away from home team. I just think they go in there and they put the Eagles out of their misery because it's Vic is Super Bowl or bust and we're gonna win it all for Andy and I'm gonna put it all on my shoulders this weekend and just stop it, Michael. You've talked your team and yourself into oblivion because your team isn't good enough to back up your words and now you're not good enough. Mm. Thank you very much. Skip, I got I, I gotta say something real quick. I would love to come back from that little diatribe you just spewed. It was awesome. <laughs> it was good. But I'm on national. T I'm on national TV, and and you're I out have of time. To give, <laughs> I have to give a public. I have to. I have to give a public apology to Mr. Lomas Brown <laughs> because my mama is watching uh -huh. and does not like the tone Thank that you, I use against Thank them. you, mother. I mean, Thanks. this is pathetic. Pathetic. I can't even talk sports with passion. I, it's bad enough I got to deal with you and that smile with those raised eyebrows of yours, but now I got to sit there and feel guilty about my tone with Lomas Brown. Just go to commercial break. I love I, I don't even have any rights anymore. Right now. Now. This is ridiculous. Lomas, you, got a, you got a daughter, right? I'm sorry. Right? Yeah, I got four, Lomas four Brown. Four okay. I'm sorry. Lomas has four daughters. I'm sorry, you have Lomas four Brown. Wait, we have eight daughters? I Wait a apologize. second. Wait a You're second. You're kidding. Lomas, you you have four daughters, yeah. and Christian, you have four daughters. Yeah. Now, would you mind if any of your daughters play football? Mine played. She played football? Yeah, we'll talk. All right, well, we discussed. Well, there's the latest a YouTube sensation, and it's not Lomas's daughter. It's a nine-year-old <laughs> football player by the name of Sam, as in Samantha Gordon. We talk about her coming up in just a few moments.
Listen to that. We got it. You guys have eight girls in between you. I know. <laughs> Ladies rule. Ladies they rule. rule. They rule. That was nice of Stephen A. We're glad you apologized to Sweet Lolo. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> you should. I'm trying to figure out where I don't know where you are.